Hi and welcome to evening prayer for this Friday evening. It's very lovely to be here with you and share this time. My name is Reverend Donna Peterson and I am the Vicar of St Peter's Anglican Church in Wynnum and I offer you this time of prayer, this daily office from a prayer book for Australia um, for Friday evening. Let's begin. Peace to those who are far off, peace to those who are near. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our canticle, the Lord's Servant. He was despised, he was rejected, a man of sorrows acquainted with grief. As one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Ours were the sufferings he bore, ours the torments he endured. While we thought he was being punished, struck by God and brought low, he was pierced for our sins, bruised for no fault but ours. His punishment has won our peace, and by his wounds we are healed. We had all strayed like sheep, all taking our own way, but the Lord laid on him the guilt of us all. The day is now past and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. The psalm for this evening are Psalms 144 and 150. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight, my strength and my stronghold, my fortress and my deliverer, my shield, to whom I come for refuge, who subdues people under me. Lord, what are we? that you should be mindful of us. What are we that you should consider us? Flesh and blood is but a breath of wind. Our days are like a shadow that passes away. Part the heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Dart forth your lightnings, and scatter them over every side. Let loose your arrows with the roar of the thunderbolt. Reach down your hand from on high. Rescue me and pluck me out of the great waters, out of the hands of the aliens, whose mouths speak perjury and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing you a new song, O God. On the ten-stringed lute will I sing your praises. You have given victory to kings and deliverance to David, your servant. O oh, save me from the peril of the sword. Pluck me out of the hands of the aliens whose mouths speak perjury and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. Our sons in their youth shall be like sturdy plants, and our daughters as the carved corners of palaces. Our barns shall be full and give food of every kind. The sheep shall lamb in our fields in thousands and ten thousands. Our cattle shall be heavy with calf. There shall be no miscarriage or untimely birth and no loud crying in our streets. Happy the people, whose lot is such as this. Happy the people who have the Lord for their God. Praise the Lord. O oh, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him for the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his abundant goodness. Praise him in the blast of the ram's horn. Praise him upon the lute and the harp. Praise him with the timbrel and the dancers. Praise him upon the strings and the pipe. 
Praise him on the high-sounding cymbals, praise him upon the loud cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Holy Spirit, sanctifier, cleanse us from all hypocrisy. Unite us to one another in the bonds of peace and love and confirm us in holiness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The reading this evening is from the second letter of St. Peter, chapter 3, beginning at verse 3. First of all, you must understand this, that in the last days scoffers will come, scoffing and indulging their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For ever since our ancestors died, All things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. They deliberately ignore this fact, that by the word of God, heavens existed long ago, and an earth was formed out of the water by means of water, through which the world of that time was deluged with water and perished. But by the same word, the present heavens and earth have been reserved for fire, being kept until the day of judgment and destruction of the godless. But do not ignore this fact, beloved, that with the Lord, one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you, not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. Hear the word of the Lord. The second canticle, a song of the Lamb. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you have created all things, and by your will they have their being. You are worthy, O Lamb, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed for God, saints from every tribe and language and nation. You have made them to be a kingdom of priests serving our God, and they will reign with you on earth. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sin, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Almighty God, your Son has opened for us a new living way into your presence. Give us pure hearts and steadfast wills to worship you in the Spirit and in truth. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Loving God, we come before you open and welcoming of your embrace in our lives. We pray for ourselves and for each other, for our place in our community and our world, as well as others in their place and their communities within this one world. We hold before you the world at large and for the struggles of the sick and suffering for the struggles of those countries which are still racked by war and indecision 
or bad leadership. We pray for peace. We pray for hope where there is despair. We pray for grace where there is fear and oppression. And we pray for love to win supreme over all things, bad and evil. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give you thanks for this beautiful world that we do live in, for the spring that has sprung in our half of the world, for all of the plants that are growing, for the trees that are budding and the flowers that are showing, for the birth of new life everywhere, the birds of the air and the grubs on the ground and everything in between. We pray for our neighbours, for our families, for those we share our communities with. We hold them before you in prayer and ask for your touch in their lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and struggling at this time, for those who are undergoing treatment or undergoing procedures or waiting or recovering from surgery, those who are in hospital, those who are waiting to die. We pray also for any who are still in lockdown and struggling with loneliness or mental health issues. We pray for peace and strength, hope and wholeness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we hold before you all those who have gone before us, those witnesses in our life which have shown us the way, past and really past, historically past. We give thanks for the lives of our own loved ones who have died and we see no more as we call to mind their faces and names. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Light in our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of all grace who has called us to eternal glory in Christ restore, establish and strengthen us. To him be the dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for evening prayer this evening. I am very privileged to be able to offer you this time of prayer and um, I do feel connected to you even though we are not meeting face to face with the few of you I know who connect with this service on a regular basis. Anyway, I pray that you have um, a great rest of the day, a restful night and wake refreshed in the morning. Until next time. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this service or this video, please like or comment below. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notifications of when more videos are available. If you need to contact us, you can contact us on Facebook or any of the details here on your screen now. Good night and God bless.